The best drops in Man vs. Machine. What are they? Well, call me a Two Cities Loyalist all you want, but that's where you're gonna find the brunt of them. Uh, actually, Wheezy, you can get Australiums from all the other tours as well. Who said we're only talking about Australiums here? A lot of people seem to get disappointed when they don't feel the tidal wave of dopamine the box explosion would normally give them, but that doesn't mean your lucks run completely dry. Some of the professional killstreak kits sell for just as much or more than some Australian weapons. So on a list like this, they definitely deserve to be acknowledged, though their crafting fees will be taken into account. The price of kits also vary based off Sheen and Killstreaker, but we'll be going with the lowest price prices just to serve as a baseline minimum. Keep in mind that these numbers are subject to change. I don't have a crystal ball that can see the future, but I don't think it's a stretch to say that some items might decrease in value while others could potentially increase. And speaking of numbers going up, I am forever at the mercy of the YouTube algorithm, so if you want to see more MVM content, hit the subscribe button and comment some dumb shit below to help boost this video. So first, we're gonna start off with some honorable mentions. We have 10 professional kill street kits that are close to the value of the cheapest Australiums, but just not quite there. Those being the Kritzkrieg, the Black Box, the Bizarre Bargain, the Crusader's Crossbow, the Phlogistonator, the Iron Curtain, the Jag, the Panic Attack, the Conscientious Objector, and the Frying Pan. All of these kits are definitely worth crafting if the Fabricators drop, but they just won't be selling for more than any of the Australiums, which are the qualifications to meet this list. So now on to the D tier, with two Australiums and three professional killstreak kits. As a surprise to no one, the worst Australiums are the Blitzauger at 8 keys and the Extinguisher at 10 keys. For the killstreak kits, we have the Opera Hand at 10 keys with the Eyelander and the Degreaser kits around 11. Again, subtract around 2 keys for the crafting cost to get the real numbers. Now for the largest tier on this list, the C tier. And for this one, we have 5 Australiums and 7 killstreak kits. For the lower tier Aussies, we have the SMG and the Ambassador, both at 12 keys, and the Frontier Justice, Force of Nature, and Black Box all around 17 keys. For the killstreak kits, we have the Stock Knife at 13 keys, the Wrench, the Iron Bomber, and the Stock Grenade Launcher all around 14 keys, the Conover's Kunai at 15 keys, the Shotgun at 16 keys, and the Original at 17 keys. Next we have the B tier, with 6 Australiums and 5 killstreak kits. For the Australiums, we have the Stock Grenade Launcher, Launcher and Knife, both at 21 keys, the Tommy Slav at 22 keys, the Sticky Launcher at 24 keys, the Stock Flamethrower at 25 keys, and the Stock Minigun around 26 keys. For the Killstreak kits, we have the Sticky Launcher at 21 keys, the Tommy Slav at 22 keys, the Flamethrower and Minigun, both at 25 keys, and the Sniper Rifle at 26 keys. Yes, some of the professional Killstreak variants of these weapons are equivalent in price to their Australian counterparts. That's just the way things are. For the high tier drops of A tier, we have two Australiums and three killstreak kits. For the Aussies, we have the sniper rifle at 33 keys and the wrench around 37 keys. For the killstreak kits, we have the scatter gun at 31 keys, the rocket launcher at 33 keys, and the most expensive killstreak kit in the game, the medigun at 36 goddamn keys. And now we're moving on to the tippy top of the list with S tier, the four best Australiums in the game. Those being the scatter gun at 48 keys the rocket launcher at 51 keys, the medigun around 56 keys, and the eyelander at 82 keys. You may as well put the eyelander in its own little S plus tier because of how much more valuable it is than the others due to its apparent lower drop rate. And that's it for the tier list. Thanks for what- Oh. Right. The pan isn't just S tier, it's quadruple S tier. And all of the S's are squared. The golden pan is, get this, worth almost 40 times the price of the Islander at 3200 keys. Its estimated drop chance is seemingly anywhere between 1 in 10,000 on the low end and 1 in 19,000 on the high end. So if you get the pan, you've won the game. Simple as that but that happens to a very small amount of people. The main point of this video isn't to say that MVM is profitable, because it isn't. I just wanted to put into perspective just how much good loot drops from two cities. Unless you're the king of going 6-2. and two. Like me. But still, that's 28 professional killstreak fabricators, around one-sixth of all of them in the game, that make for perfectly worthwhile drops. So if you don't get too many Aussies, try not to be too discouraged. 
That's all I got, guys. Thank you for watching the video. See ya.